Hi everyone, uh, this paper is about the design of an irregular prosthesis for patients with grade 3 and 4 microbes. Uh, first of all, I will start by explaining what is microtia. Microtia is a congenital fascial deformity which presents partial or total loss of the auricle. Microtia uh, can be caused by an error during embryonic cartilage development, during the fight or night week of gestation, or by abnormal physical force during development, which affects normal growth. Uh, the most widely used classification system proposed by Herman Marx in 1926 raised microtia according to its appearance as shown in the figure uh, type 1, type 2, type 3, or type 4 microtia. Um, currently, the treatment of microtia consists of surgical techniques such as microchirurgical implementations, reconstruction techniques through uh, autologous cartilage graft, but uh, there, are, there is a third option the external auricle prosthesis. This technique represents an alternative that not involves surgery at all in the preceding case. In the figure, uh, we can see the percentage of occurrence of the different types of complications mm -hmm. that can occur with traditional methods, such as infection, gene deformities, necrosis, scarring, etc. Uh, all of this can be avoided if the option of external auricular prosthesis is chosen. Now, to begin with the realization of the prosthesis, first the model of the patient healthy arm must be obtained. And afterwards, we proceed with 3D digitalization, where with an arm laser scanner, the real mold of the ear is transformed into a virtual mold. Now, it is the turn of the post-processing, where possible defects of the 3D scan are corrected. Finally, the virtual mold is transformed into a CAN5 computer-aided design, where a mirror operation is performed, thus obtaining the missing ear of the patient. Now, it is the turn of the selection of the suitable material for the prosthesis. For it, it is necessary to take into account the materials that are originally present in the real of the ear, to find a material that is compatible with human tissue and, the present, and that present similar characteristics both chemical, physical, mechanical, and aesthetics properties. Um, after extensive research, it was concluded that the appropriate material is silicon elastomer, and the table showed the values of the ideal property that the prototype should have. Taking this into account, a study was carried out where uh, it was found that of the silicon elastomer, four materials were within the proposed range. Among these, the blue material was selected because it meets all the characteristics and also helped, has the lower price. Within the selected material, a stress analysis was carried out to verify and ensure the adequate performance for the prosthesis. For this, the three scenarios shown on the slide were considered, showing the expected result since the material does not exceed the yellow strength and the displacement of the material is minimal. Uh, the last step to get the prosthesis is rapid manufacturing. Recently, an integrated organ and tissue expression system has been developed on a human scale in any shape and with good mechanical stability. 
This type of 3D brand bioprinter can generate three forms of multiple materials with multiple types of sand and biomaterials. Some that have been done printing bones, cartilage, and skeletal muscle. A technology like this will be suitable to develop this type of prosthesis and help people who have microtia. <coughs> Finally, uh, the conclusions are that uh, the currently the most used technique to solve a microtic problem is reconstruction using a tolu tissue. However, this type of surgery high, has a very high cost, and in case of opting for it, even though the technique is reliable, the aesthetic result is not I will satisfactory. An auricular prosthesis is an option to consider when the patient has already undergone several unsuccessful reconstructive surgeries. When the patient's skin is severely damaged, when the patient is not up to appropriate age to perform an operation, or when the patient wants to a much faster, cheaper, safer method, and above all, the no require recovery times or duration of passive failure. Um, silicon elastomer are currently the best material for the manufacture of auricular prosthesis. However, intravalar radiation and environmental factors cause problems regarding discoloration and the lifespan of the prosthesis. Thank you, everyone.